Hello friends. I'm Erin. I am the chef at Nordo in Seattle and I know a lot of you have tickets to come see our Alice in Wonderland adaptation, Curiouser and Curiouser. We are excited to announce when that's going to open now that we have all been shut into our homes for the global pandemic. Um, but in the meantime, uh, I thought I'd invite you to my home and you can see a little bit about my process of coming up with these wild menus. So one of the reasons we chose Alice in Wonderland as a show was because I was so excited about the idea of how much kind of crazy mind-bending food we could do that would be appropriate for Alice in Wonderland. And so now that's my job. Um, so here we are. Uh, I'm trying this new technique, which is, or new to me technique, which is to use uh, butterfly pea flowers to dye food. Um, the cool thing about these is they're, um, they're a blue flower. Blue is not a super common color in nature, so that's already kind of remarkable. But then uh, due to the magic of science and chemistry, um, when they come in contact with an acid, they kind of turn bright pink. So that's super fun. I am trying to create a noodle salad that starts out this deep blue and then we'll add a citrus dressing to it and then it'll turn pink on your plate right in front of you. Uh, that's kind of the theatrical thing we do and I'm trying to see if I can make it work. So um, this is about a half ounce of these uh, dried butterfly pea flowers and 16 ounces of water. Um, I'm doing it on this white background so that you can see how bright blue this really is. Um, so just, oh, there I go, spilling it everywhere already. Um, then you can kind of, already it's already getting super blue. Can you see? Boop. And I'm just going to sink my battleships a little bit here and then I'll let it sit for a few hours and get that super deep blue that we're looking for and then we'll experiment with some noodles, some rice noodles probably um, and uh, see if we can dye some noodles like little Easter eggs and uh, do some at the table theater. Be back in a few. Okay I'm back but just for a moment because this is still working so um, I wanted to show you this which is um, already blue and on ice and just this is super fun this is this is your cocktail dreams here um, the taste of the pea flowers is kind of like peas very faintly though it doesn't really taste like much at all so watch if I add the lemon ah you guys add a bunch of lemon squirt some on myself do you see I hope you can tell what this like. Um, and it's also, this is delicious. Put some vodka in there, be perfect. Hi, okay, so it's pretty blue. Um, I'm gonna try mung bean noodles this time. I tried some flat rice noodles before and they worked pretty well. The thing about them was, was uh, when you put the lemon or the citrus on, the dressing on, it turned pink, it just took a long time. And I'm, that's my cat. And I'm really looking for this like pop of like, as soon as you go on, there's this dramatic moment. So I'm gonna try these mung bean noodles. They're the kind of thready ones. So um, yeah, these pirate schools, God bless them. Um, antique things, they don't make them like this anymore with the pour spouts, they love. So we're just gonna pour that through a strainer. And I'm actually gonna uh, smush all those flowers into the strainer and give them a little squish so that we get all that good blue dye. Yeah, good. Um, so we're just gonna make sure that those are nice and submerged. Yeah, and then um, I will leave them for a while, maybe a couple hours, um, maybe overnight, a couple hours for now. Uh, yeah, so I'll see you in a couple hours. All right, the noodles are done. So in order to see if I can just reserve this blue tea and use it to boil about another batch of noodles, I'm just gonna save it. 
There's my noodles. There's my leftover tea. All right, let's see what happens. I'm just gonna fork three little piles out here. All right, friends, I have three piles of noodles. I have rice wine vinegar, I have lime juice, and I will have lemon juice. So let's start with 12 o'clock. We'll put some lime juice on there. And rice wine vinegar here. And lemon juice here. Can you see? That's fast. So that was the lime juice. The rice wine vinegar is slower than the lemon. Maybe because I didn't put enough on. Should I try some more? You guys! Okay, so that's pretty fun. Um, all right, let's call it a successful experiment. That lime juice is looking awesome, and I'm thinking, like, if it's a cold noodle, oh, I wonder if it works the same cold. I'll have to figure that out. Um, cold noodle with like maybe some ceviche or something like that all kind of nestled in there and then you pour the lime dressing over the top and it turns pink. Um, thanks, this was really fun. I'm really excited to keep going with this dish and there's a little peek into my brain. Thank you. Stay safe out there, stay home, stay inspired. You made it! Thank you so much for watching. I'm here to tell you a little bit about Nordo. We are a nonprofit arts organization based in Seattle, Washington, dedicated to bringing you an intimate theatrical experience that weaves in imaginative cuisine and live original music. If you're watching during the COVID-19 crisis, and you wanna make sure our doors are open when all this is over so you can come and experience one of our incredible events, please consider donating. You can find more information and a link to donate at cafenordo.com. Stay in, stay well, and stay inspired. Thank you.